Hey guys, what's up? This is Nickel from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today, we're gonna take a look at creating these 3D lines into After Effects using a plugin called TrapCut Particular. Now, it's a third party plugin. If you don't have it, go download it, you know, and continue with this video. But I guess you should have it. Like, it's a pretty cool plugin. It's a, basically a 3D particle generator. And the thing you can see right over there is a 3D. It's basically 3D lines I've named it and it's a pretty cool effect which I found out and you can see it's an abstract effect but what is cool about this thing is if I just see, take on my camera and just move around you can see it's pretty cool and you can just use it the way you want it and create some cool backgrounds or use it for your motion graphics work and pretty crazy stuff with it and I'm gonna also show you some different things what you can do with this kind of effect so let's just get started pretty quick so first of all i'm going to create a new comp let's just name it comp2 1920 into 1080 and i'll just keep it at 30 frames doesn't matter and then i'm going to go and right click create a new solid i'll just name this particles there we go doesn't matter which color it is and go to effect, go to trap code, and select the particles. Now you can see we have this basic particles effect. You can go. And then I'm gonna go to emitter and just change this to let's say 75 and change the direction to directional. Then this way the particles are gonna go in a particular direction so we can you know just make it 90 degrees for Y rotation so we should have something like this now it looks pretty lame I guess so I'll just increase the velocity let's just keep it to 700 and you can also just move a little bit of your I'll see and yeah looks pretty cool then I'm gonna go to particles and let's just see what we can do here we can do we actually don't want to do anything right over there we can just decrease the opacity to zero then I'm gonna go to my aux system and turn this to continue so we should get something like this you can see now it's like pretty dotted so I want lines to appear so for that I'm gonna Let's see what we can do right over there. I'm gonna increase the velocity a little bit, or let's just keep the velocity at zero and increase the life size. So, no, not the life size actually. I'm gonna increase the particles per second. So, let's just keep it somewhere like it looks pretty good. We don't want the dotted thing, so I'll just keep it around, let's say 300, should look good. There we go. So, we have a pretty basic thing. Now we are getting somewhere there. Actually, it's a pretty you know simple effect, pretty beginner effect you will say, but you can use it in various things, you know. I'll show you in a second. So now we are right there. So now let's say we want to apply some color to it. So let's just select color from main and just go to our particles. Now here we have the white color selected. If you want, you can select a particular color, you know, any color that you want but I'm gonna keep this to color random so we're gonna get a random color right there so yeah you can see we get something like this so let's create a new camera pretty quick there we go 35 millimeters should work good let's see to bring up the camera too and I'm just gonna rotate it somewhere around there you can you know do keep it however you want so we should get something like this and uh, a problem that you may face while doing this is you can see the line sometimes get cut off in the between so here it's not that much a problem but sometimes it does so what you can do is you can just zoom in the camera or else you can go to the velocity you're right there and make it to somewhere around this or increase it now the lines are looking pretty jagged and pretty you know big so for that I'm gonna just go to my aux system and let's see what we can do here we can make the size to let's say 3 and this should work pretty good now 
it is looking pretty good but I want some shading to it to give that pretty pretty feel to it so I'm gonna create a new light and it's an ambient light pretty good now you'll notice that there's no light in the scene so this is why because we have not you know turn on the shading so just turn on the shading pretty quick and you should get something like this and hit a a on the light there we go and just turn on the intensity and one more thing that you can do is you can add points light to it to create a cool background now let me pretty quickly go here in the settings in the previous project actually just move this to the first position you can see I have three types of lights over here so if you can see it doesn't create much difference but a little bit it does so you know in my eyes it does a difference actually so what I'm doing I don't know anyway so we should have something like this now a cool thing oh I forgot to show you the shading thing so let's just turn it on and turn on the light now you can also increase the intensity from here but I like to keep it at you know 100 and I like to increase the intensity from here so here we have the control over the ambient light there we go a little bit of subtle light should work good so one more crazy thing that you can do is you can increase the velocity and it's gonna give you some crazy effects like just go to the off system and if I turn on the velocity you can get something like this now you can see it looks pretty cool you know for motion graphics it works pretty great cause if you want to do some abstract thing in your motion graphic works it would look pretty good you can also go crazy with this shit like if I just increase it to let's say somewhere around this you should get something like this which looks absolutely crazy you can see you can also you know turn on the depth of field for your camera and make it look pretty 3d and pretty intense but I don't think we need it right over there but you can see it, it looks pretty colorful and for abstract things if you're you know practicing or playing around doing abstract things it is pretty useful and pretty fun I, I just like this effect so I just set this to let's see 5 or just set this to 0 and one more thing that you can do is if let's say I go to the physics go to the air tab and go to turbulence field and increase the effect position you can see we can get this warmy effect which can also look pretty cool if you want this you can see like this a little creepy it may look but you know if you want you can add a subtle effect to it and you know go crazy if you want again but for now I don't want anything so I'll just set this to zero let's see what this effect size does now it can also affect it creates some gaps between the lines I didn't know that actually so anyways so yeah this are the things which I came across and this is a cool effect which I found out and yeah I like it I'm gonna use definitely in some of my projects and as you saw we can do some crazy things with it so you can also you know play around with the settings with different settings like over here colorize it or anything that you want and just play around I hope this was helpful to you and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and I'll see you in my next video and thanks for watching guys